Okay, there we go. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. How How's it, it going? Oh. You go ahead. <laughs> no, you go. No, I'm in a... It's been good. No. Okay. Okay, good. Um, it's been good. Yeah. That's good. That's great. Um, how's school going? Oh, school's been going. I finished my harder courses, so happy oh, with that. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, and you're a senior? Grade twelve, yeah. Grade twelve. Oh my gosh. Have yeah. you thought about uh any colleges? Quite a few. Um, but I have applied to two so far. So the Okanagan College in Kelowna, and then there's also just a college in my hometown that I might go to. It's been a while since we've talked. Yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you've been watching uh, with the interviews, but uh, I'm gonna have a series of questions for you. First off, um, okay. Oh, shit, I gotta do, okay. I gotta do the intro. Um, <clears throat> shoot, I feel. I do this. Why? I should like have a script ready for me to say. It's fine. Um, it's totally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. Also, I'm also editing the the vlog right now, and so I'm I'm like kind of behind, but we're oh, good. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Welcome to All Round Champion Season Five. Oh, so sorry. I like I'm blinking. It's all good. Just do like what you did for the other ones, I guess. I don't know. Welcome back to All Round Champion Interviews. We're here with Lily Brooke, and today we are going to ask her a series of questions about her episode, episode three, boxing. Wheelchair boxing. Wheelchair <laughs> boxing. Wait, okay, here's the th So is it wheelchair boxing, or is it more like, like adaptive boxing? I'd maybe say adaptive boxing, because the episode kind of shows all of it, not okay. just wheelchair yeah and um no i had a lot of people question and like ask about yeah what why they were there why they were athletes like, not, standing up like and not yeah. in the wheelchair so yeah well it's because i said in one of my interviews that like i've worked with other boxers who are like adaptive boxers but not wheelchair boxers so they probably thought like oh let's put all that together and yeah, yeah i don't know that makes sense you know it's fine <laughs> uh, it's it it enjoyable nonetheless so yeah. Um, good that we can clarify that. So let's get things started. All right. Mm -hmm. We mentioned this when we first met, but I was wondering, do you still get people that ask if you look like Sadie Sink from Stranger Things? Oh my gosh. I have never had anyone else really say that I really? look like Sadie Sink. No, not until I got to All Round Champion that you guys all started telling me I look like her. Wow, because when I was watching with my friends, literally the first thing that someone said was that they that you look like her from Stranger Things. No way, no yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. I've so never just, had anyone else. Okay, everyone was agreeing it, and everyone said it when we were on that field. There's like, hey. yeah, yeah. This, I can't remember. Was it you that said it first, and then I think, everyone I else? Think, like, yeah, I think it was. Okay, so just the basic questions now. How was being on the show? Being on the show in general was super fun. I mean, I got to meet everyone, which was probably the part I loved the most about being on the show. And then I also just love the experience of trying so many different sports and taking what I learned to my own sport. A lot of us can say the same where it's like, yeah. you know, you're representing your sport. You know, this mm -hmm. is like you want to make sure that people understand fully what this pair of sport is because it's not known to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I definitely like I also just loved showing everyone what I do kind of thing. So yeah, it was yeah. pretty awesome. I remember you saying a lot that you really want to advocate with this sport. So yeah. I feel like that that's like really strong because it's out of a lot of them, like wheelchair boxing is just not as popular as others. Yeah. yeah, it's not really known. I tell people I do it and they're a little confused at first, but I'm excited to be rep representing it. Yeah, that's great. And I feel like you were really great at representing that because you really had that passion. You can see it throughout the whole episode, like especially toward Bradley, like you were just like really hammering it in like, hey, this is serious. Like this is like what I'm like proud of this. You know, I'm proud to teach you. I'm proud to represent this. Yeah, well, thank you. Yep. Um, <laughs> anyway, how are you liking the show overall? So far, like up to the third episode? Yeah, just like, I don't know, okay. is it 
What do you think? Like, so far, it's so weird seeing myself on TV. Like, I just, part of me doesn't believe it kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like, I see it and I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> what, what's I'm happening? A, I, I'm on a screen? Like, what the heck? What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then, like, showing my family and everything. It's just so weird. It's so weird. And then there was also, like, we took so much footage over the summer and not a lot of it was used like at all yeah it was just amazing to really see it all put together into one episode that's like 50 minutes long um yeah for me for this episode like it was it was very interesting because it it felt it felt different than how it was when we were actually shooting it 100 percent, i agree it was yeah especially yeah especially with this one sorry (laughs) it's all good i feel like there was also just a lot of I don't know not lack of emotion but it didn't show a lot of what actually happened like more of like the behind the scenes like what happened in the locker room yeah. and like stuff off camera we really felt like our emotions there especially on the bus yeah we had I think the most oh, mm-hmm. there's like a word uh we had like the most like just <sighs> yeah I know what you mean yeah yeah and also just like at the house right like we were all Mm -hmm. I feel like we all stayed really good friends throughout the entire entire season so yeah for sure like it was funny because like it's like a switch like our switch turned on when we were on camera and we're like oh ah and then like literally when we got off the bus and we're in our rooms we're like hey what's up chilling and like just it's like not even like acknowledging or and realizing that what we just did like we just fought each other in the ring but then when we were home we're like oh what's up (laughs) like you know it's like hey how's everyone doing yeah <laughs> yeah it things uh, definitely like I feel like that was every episode though like kind of just mm-hmm. flipped when we got home okay so funny story I don't have any more questions this is really <laughs> bad um I like I'm, I'm so sorry we had literally all week but then it's I just so been, I've been so busy so this episode there was a surprise in it and it actually had Sierra from All Round Champion season three, the winner of that season, actually coach everyone. So how was that getting to meet her and seeing her out there? Oh, that was so much fun being able to work with Sierra, who's already been on the show and won, and just see how she teaches everyone else. And so I definitely learned from her coaching style as well. And just, I don't know, being with her the entire time was pretty cool. And since then, me and her have actually stayed in contact. So that's nice. That, oh, awesome. and um, I don't know if uh, everyone back home knows this, but we also stay in contact. We have a like a group like Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> we keep yeah. Each, each other posted on. Snapchat yeah. group's pretty great. <laughs> I feel bad because I didn't watch the previous seasons before. So when we <laughs> looked up and we were just like, who is that? And then she comes out and reveals herself. I'm like, all right, we're clapping. I'm like, no, no offense. But I'm just, I just, I didn't know who Sierra was. That was that was the exact same for me. Like, I had no idea. Everyone was like, oh, it's Perdita. And I'm like, oh, it's Perdita. Cool. You know, it's funny because Bradley watched the show before and he was a fan. And I remember at, on the field, he's like, guys, guys, guys. It's it's Perdita. It's I don't know how to do a British accent, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Perdita. All right, so uh, sorry, I'm like this is not professional <laughs> at all. So you're Canadian. I am. Yeah. Um, as my first Canadian uh interviewee, uh, how's Canada? Canada over there. Canada is awesome. It's pretty cold right now. I went skiing the other day and had icicles on my eyelashes, but it was, it was great. It's Canada is awesome. <laughs> That's great. I mean, Canada is really fun when I, that was my first time ever going to Canada and just like, I definitely would like to live there someday. Yeah. I really loved the Niagara Falls experience that we all got to go to. That was. Oh, you're awesome. spoiling it. Dang it. I was going to, I was going to say, no, 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 it's fine. no, 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 it's fine. I was going to say at the end, be like, I wanted to remind you and be like, Hey, after filming, this was the week that we actually went to Niagara Falls. So 
I oh, okay. I was saving that. I was saving that for the end. But we can no no no. We can talk about it now. So um okay. What did you think of Niagara Falls? That was my first time actually being to Niagara Falls. So being able to see it and go on the little like boat that went through it was mm-hmm. super cool. Like it was I was soaking wet after, but it was lots of fun. Oh yeah, we had like the raincoats and we had the pink ones because we we're on the Canadian yeah. side. And then we could see the American side. Um, mm-hmm. I remember Maggie saying that um, there's two sides, and like I didn't know that like the like the like the falls divided the countries. But she was saying yeah, I, that I, the Canadian side is a lot better, and it definitely is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to the American side? No, I've never been to New York uh, before. Oh wow. That. Yeah, and speaking of New York, <laughs> um. What did you think of that experience? Um, it was a little crazy. <laughs> a little crazy. Um, definitely a story I will never forget and have already told quite a few people about. <laughs> Same. I recently went to New York City and mm-hmm. w- um, with my basketball team, and I constantly reminded them that technically it wasn't my first time in New York. Technically the second. <laughs> technically the second. Uh, the first one was by accident (laughs) (laughs) there was Uh, so much chaos that happened in that one little trip like we start off making the wrong turn momo's sick none of us have our id on us like it was terrible (laughs) bradley was like panicking because we all thought (laughs) that he was gonna get (laughs) deported and everything (laughs) um but no it was a really fun day uh just throughout because yeah there's like a there's a theme park there and it was was great to do that and um Gnor being able to go on the go karts because she was in like the pack of us with okay. us. So I stayed very close to Gnor, the general like whole ride. Okay, one minute she's going straight, the next minute she's zigzagging, <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't know when she was doing each one. So it was, it was great. She, I'm was glad ca- she got to drive it. And like that was actually like a really sick go kart track. Oh, so cool. I've never been to a go-kart tra- track like that. Just the whole day was really fun. Yeah, it was like a little it was like a little treat for us. So Yeah, it was, nice. it was super nice being able to get out of the house too on our oh, days yeah. off. Yeah, because we were talking about leaving the house multiple times, but what really stopped it was COVID. Yeah. And um we were thinking about doing like a drive-in theater and like going to Toronto, which eventually we did go to Toronto, but we never left the car. Yeah, it was still I mean it was still nice, but mm-hmm. I think getting out was actually really good. Um. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, now we got. Now I really got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping okay. next is gonna be better. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Swimming. Oh my gosh! And then the preview with my freaking sling. I don't know how they're gonna do. Oh, because <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do that. Because remember that video that I submitted to them? <gasps> the yeah. in the hotel room. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was... I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So for people back home, I'm gonna spoil it a bit. But um, if you watch the show, there there was an injury. Okay. It's not really spoiling because you could see it. I'm not gonna say how, but there was an injury on my part, and they wanted a they wanted me to film like a hey, you know, I'm doing better. Don't worry about me. But we did this in um Sam and Lily's dorm or um Sam and Lily's like hotel room because because I was with the boys and they were like being so loud so I'm like okay I just gotta film it in here and it was so yeah. I remember <laughs> I you know. coming to our room you're like can I film in here they're, they're too loud um you're just gonna have to watch that and then um in the next interview I'll um give more context and closure with Momo about that so mm. but that's just a little teaser, a little <laughs> teaser. when Leo was announced that he was a sports star what did you think about that? Because didn't you know him? Yeah, I knew Leo beforehand, actually. In fact, I've raced against him multiple times in skiing. So I actually knew Leo quite well. And since the show, I've actually gotten even closer with him. I've, I've been to his boxing gym. He's coached me. It's really great. No, that is really great. Um, it's kind of similar with like Charlie and Dominic, how they knew each other. And it's just really great Yeah, actually knowing them. And then Mm -hmm. seeing them after and be like, hey, what a crazy experience, right? Yeah. Well, it's also really cool because, like, Leo lives fairly close. I mean, 
six hours ish maybe five hours six so -ish. it it it's close ish okay that's like maybe. the distance between us we're like six hours yeah. away that's yeah in my eyes that's not close <laughs> that's okay it might not be close but i do have to go to vancouver where he is quite often so i see him and then yeah. he's also traveling all the time for ski events in the winter so i also see him at almost every one of those which is awesome so so yeah, yeah you just brought up something that i completely forgot that you did but it's like all over your instagram also instagram at lilybrook 63 follow her lilybrook 63 <laughs> anyway i noticed that on your instagram you post a lot of skiing stuff so how skiing <laughs> para skiing is it is it nordic it, skiing or yeah para nordic sit skiing it is awesome i love skiing so much it's probably the second sport i love the most i'd say and this year actually i'm going to the canada games for sit skiing so i am super excited for that <laughs> wait what <laughs> multi-talented <laughs> athlete over here what the heck how tell tell me more about that like how how did that all happen so i've been going to a few different camps like at the start of the season and then I was chosen to go to Canada Games to represent Canada as the female. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going next month. Actually, no, not even next month. It's the end of February. So soon. Bro, bro, yeah. what the I'm, heck? I'm heading to PEI. I don't know where that is. What's that? Jackson. We'll just cut this. We'll just cut this part out. We'll just cut. We'll cut Jackson. this part out, and then I'll say like, "Oh yeah, PEI." <laughs> okay, it's like the other side of Canada. Okay, past Quebec. It's the other one, of the little islands. <laughs> Is it like British territory? What? No, wait. Canada is British. Canadian. <laughs> it's in Canada, Jackson. Is it an island? Wait, hold on. Quebec. Do you know where Quebec is? Wait, wait. P E I Prince <laughs> Edward Island? Yeah. <laughs> Prince Edward Island. Oh. Next to Maine. There you go. Mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, we'll just uh, we'll cut here and be like, so just just repeat, just repeat yourself. Um Okay, what did I say before? It was just, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm heading to PEI. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, that's that's Prince Edward Island, right? It is, it's Prince Edward Island. <clears throat> Have you been there? I mean, I heard it's pretty tropical. I've never been there, no. <laughs> okay tropical i don't know i just i just saw this image and then it like there's trees <laughs> okay no i've never been to pei but i'm excited to go so yeah i'm happy first... for you sorry your first it'll be my first time going and then i'm also going to women's nationals for wheelchair basketball as well this year so i am excited for that as well sweet i was about to ask will i be seeing you but then i realized that it'll be nationals and you're canadian so yeah. this is, it's gonna it's a little different but so um look at that um so i think this is a great way to um kind of segue into you listed wheelchair boxing wheelchair no like sit down nordic skiing and then wheelchair basketball that's three pair sports that you participate in and you're uh, doing high level competitions. I think it's cool. Like, I think we can like talk about how when you are a para athlete that you're not, you don't have to stick with just one sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, one issue that like I've always had was like, cause I'm doing three different sports. How do I find time to do all these? How do I choose which was a lot of what a lot of people told me that I'd eventually have to do is choose which sport I want to pursue. Mm -hmm. But 
since then, like, I've just kind of stuck with what I want to do. And that's all three of them. I want I want to continue all three of them. So that's what I've been doing. And it's totally something that is achievable for anyone who wants to do more than one sport. I feel that, but because I was doing multiple sports as well, like wheelchair basketball, um, wheelchair track, and mm. uh, wheelchair fencing. And so, yeah. um, like, you are really passionate about them. And I think it's just like, over time, you realize like what you want to really prioritize. And for me, mm-hmm. like I've been prioritizing wheelchair basketball because I'm on the Eastern Washington University team. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you can really go anywhere with parasports. But mm-hmm. what I wanted to talk about is like how you get involved with it. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So because, OK, because I want to say like, were you ever int- how were you introduced to these sports? OK, so that's actually a little bit of a story. So. After I found out about my impairment and everything, it was about two years later that I decided I wanted to try to get back into sports, even though like I couldn't go back to what I usually did, which was like able-bodied sports like soccer, stand-up basketball, um, running and all that. And I first tried swimming because I was like, oh, that one's going to be great for me to do. Um it wasn't my thing. I I hit my head the wall quite a few times. It wasn't my sport. And then the only other option really in salmon arm was boxing, which I don't know why I thought I could do it at the time, but, but I tried it anyway. Coaches were great. And boom, I found my sport. Then about a year and a half later, I was within the school like within school and someone came up to me I forget who it was but it was a teacher and they asked me if I knew about the para skiing program and I was like no I have no idea what that is so then she got me in contact with the coach who coaches the para skiing program in salmon arm and that's how I started skiing and then about the exact same time actually was when I also started basketball so that was actually through that was actually through the BC wheelchair basketball program. They go to different schools and they bring wheelchairs for students to try. And that's how I originally became a part of wheelchair basketball. Wow. It's kind of like one thing after the other. Like, I think that's really cool because I think the the like most fascinating part is the story of how people get involved with sports. Mm-hmm. And because it's always different. Like it could be like a friend. It could be with other athletes like talking about a sport that they also do and then you can join them like it's just a really it's great to hear the stories and the perspective of people yeah I totally agree I think I mentioned this in my episode actually but like in boxing we all generally come to the sport with a story so there's always a story to tell and that's I think with almost any sport actually but in boxing is where I've noticed it a lot is every individual regardless of if you're para or just able-bodied everyone has a story to tell and it's always great when you're able to share it your own story and I feel like it's kind of cool when like if you're a para-athlete and like if you were in like an accident and um you became a para-athlete how like what were the steps Mm -hmm. and how did you like do that like where like how how did that happen and how did you get from here to here like that right there that middle part is just crazy mm-hmm. like because there's just yeah. sorry yeah no it's just it's cool it's cool that's yeah yeah it's cool. like listening to leo's story i heard of the story before the show and everything like i said i knew him but it's such a crazy story like being a boxer and trying to make a career out of it and then getting shot like three times just right in front of your house it was absolutely crazy so I couldn't imagine the transition from having to go to stand-up boxing to seated Mm -hmm. for the application process did you apply for all three of the sports you do or did you only apply for one so I actually applied for boxing first because that was the one that I really wanted to do and then as I was filling out my application for skiing they contacted me confirming for boxing. So I did start my second application, 
but I never got through it because I was already contacted for boxing. Mm, okay. Yeah, which I'm glad I got boxing because that was the one that I really wanted to represent. Yeah, no, I'm glad you did that too. Um, I just realized I missed out on the application process. I could have asked everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start asking people that. That's a new question that I just. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, people want to hear about the application process. Yeah. Gosh dang it, I missed out. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, thank you. Actually, I'll write that down. I'll make sure to write that down for ask about application. Whatever you want doesn't really matter to me. Wait, actually, the question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this has been the, actually the most scuffed interview that I've done, and then now this one's just like all over the place. Um, <laughs> just edit it good, and it's fine. <laughs> being on the show, what has your favorite experience been so far? Okay, I gotta think about that one because it's only up until the third episode. I think my favorite experience was probably being able to coach everyone. I really enjoyed that, like just being able to show everyone what I love to do. So that was definitely probably the highlight. And I'd say even for the whole season, really, to be able to teach what I what I do. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, of course, like the whole experience of like learning and everything, too. Like I said, that part was also really awesome because I could translate it to something that goes with my sport too, as well. But I'd say coaching was still my number one. And right now, actually, I'm just starting to coach the youth class at my boxing gym. So, Look at yeah. you. All thanks to All Round Champion Season 5. Check it out for free on BYU TV every Woo! Sundays at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Free, no ads. Check it out. We're the cast of All Round Champion. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, good so that is all the questions from me is there anything that you want to ask or bring up before we uh, wrap things up I don't think so I think that's I think we covered everything generally that has happened up to now all right all right cool well thank you so much for uh letting me interview you we have yeah, less than fun. one minute so uh I'll uh I'll, I'll <laughs> see you I'll see you soon okay okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. Toodles. Uh, <gasps> toodles. Toodles. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was great talking to you again. Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you're supposed to leave and then. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Bye. 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 Bye.